Good evening, and welcome to Boring Books for Bedtime. I hope tonight's installment provides all the boredom your busy brain needs to quiet down and let you get some sleep for once. So lie back, adjust your volume, take a nice deep breath, and off we go. Tonight we're returning to one of the earliest things read on this podcast. We're reading from the Sears, Roebuck & Co. Incorporated Consumer's Guide, number 104, published in 1897. That's right, it's the Sears catalog. And tonight we're browsing through a section with particular relevance to this podcast. Let's begin. Sears, Roebuck & Co. Incorporated, Book and Stationery Department. We present to your notice one of the most complete book departments in the country. And if interested in anything in this line, we believe it will pay you to carefully read the following pages. Note the illustrations and descriptions and particularly the prices. This department, from a comparatively small beginning, has grown to one of the first branches of our business. We are able to make our contracts on the basis of very large quantities, direct with the publishers and printers, and at such favorable prices that we can offer you everything in books, including all standard works and publications at even less money than the average dealer is in the habit of paying. We have endeavored to make everything plain by showing small illustrations of many books, stationery, etc., as drawn by our artists direct from the photographs, and to so describe that you can order as intelligently as if you were in our store selecting the goods from stock. There is perhaps no class of merchandise which bears a larger profit to the retailer than books and stationery. What his profit is, you can readily ascertain by comparing our prices with the prices charged by retailers. To save this profit, it is only necessary to send your orders to us, and your order and your correspondence will have the prompt and careful attention of either the manager or one of his able assistants. Terms We will ship books by express or freight COD subject to examination when a sufficient amount accompanies the order to cover transportation charges both ways. You can examine the goods at your freight or express office, and if found satisfactory, pay the agent our price and transportation charges, less the amount sent with order. A discount of 3% will be allowed if cash in full accompanies your order. The best way is to send cash in full, for you save express charges on return of money to us and also the 3% cash discount. About mail shipments. When books are to be sent by mail, be sure to enclose enough extra to pay postage. If you send too much, we will immediately return the balance. But if you do not send enough, we will be compelled to hold your order and write for the balance. Do not overlook the necessary postage in ordering books by mail. Our club order system commends itself to book buyers, for you will observe in looking over this catalog that we have been able to figure our prices so low on many of the books that we can quote them to you at but little more than the cost of postage. For example, our advance series beautiful cloth-bound books at 22 cents each, or 20 cents in lots of five, postage 10 cents per volume. It is therefore much cheaper to have books shipped by express or freight, freight being preferable. The transportation cost per volume is then reduced to next to nothing. To take advantage of the lowest transportation rate, 
it is desirable to make up a freight order. This you can do by getting your friends and neighbors to join with you and make up a club order, which will also entitle you to our larger discount of 4 and 5% if the order is sufficiently large. See Discounts for Cash on page 3. We always advise our customers to make their book orders large enough that we may ship by freight. But if one or more books are wanted by mail, the postage must be included. Our products. Harvard Book Holders. An ornament to the home, office, and library. No woodwork used in their construction. A holder we highly recommend. The sides are operated by double acting springs, the book being firmly clamped while closed and resting upon a level surface when open. The adjustments to books of different sizes and the inclination to any angle or slant are affected by a single screw. They are adjustable to different heights and are easily set up. They are warranted not to break or get out of order with ordinary use, and after years of proper use, will be as good as new. Number 52000, complete with casters and revolving bookshelf, nickel plated and highly polished or antique copper. Price $3.85. Item 52002, complete with casters and revolving bookshelf and finished in rubber, Japan or bronze. Price $2.10. Item 52003, one same style as number 52000, but no shelf or casters. Price $1.85. Noise, dictionary, and book holders. Cannot be broken with ordinary usage. The edges of the covers are protected by felt-lined guards, and the rests are so made that the book cannot get out of shape. Number 52008. Noise, adjustable book holder with book rack, bronze. Price, $2.10. Item 52010, with book rack to hold two volumes, bronze, price $3.25. Globes, for offices, homes, libraries, or the schoolroom, these globes are the best in the country at the price we offer them. It would be impossible to place too much emphasis upon the fact that the covers used upon these globes, all sizes, are from new plates. Every improvement in engraving, printing, coloring, and mounting the maps has received critical attention, and the latest geographical changes are correctly shown. A copy of the globe manual will accompany each globe. The manual gives explanations of the terms used in geography and astronomy, and the phenomena of mathematical geography, including temperature and ocean currents, and 46 problems on the use of globes, with rules and illustrative examples, also several valuable tables. Item 52012, full mounted, 12-inch terrestrial globe, $8.75. 8-inch terrestrial globe, $6.25. 12-inch celestial globe, $10. Item 52014, meridian globe. 12-inch terrestrial globe, $6.25. 8-inch terrestrial globe, $4.38. 12-inch celestial globe, 
50 cents. Item 52020, Rand McNally & Co's Columbia series of large-scale school maps. This series is prepared in the light of the experience attained in the preparation of the GLOBE series and is intended to stand at the head as excelling in all essential points of merits every other school map published in this or other countries best series of educational maps published. Each map, 66 by 46 inches in size. These maps are oil colored and finished and backed with heavy cloth. Publisher's price on common rollers, $6. Our price, $3.40. Order United States, North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, World on Mercator's Projection. The above maps in diamond case, publisher's price each $9, our price each $4.75. Five two zero two two. Rand McNally and Co.'s indexed pocket maps. Specify Alabama, Arizona Territory, Arkansas, British Columbia, County Map of California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware and Maryland, Florida, Georgia, Idaho. Illinois, Indiana, Indian Territory, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Manitoba, Maryland and Delaware, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico Territory, County Map of New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick and Prince Edward Island, Ohio, Province of Ontario, Oregon, County Map of Pennsylvania, Quebec, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, the Utah Territory, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, or Wyoming. Without index, maps are 14 by 21 inches unless otherwise indicated. Publisher's price each 25 cents. Our price each, 15 cents. Postage, 2 cents extra. Item 52024. Map of the World. A large map of the world with a special map of the United States, England and Wales, Germany, Norway, and Sweden. Comprehensive diagrams of mountains and rivers and alphabetically arranged compilation describing every country in the world and its location indexed. The only reversible map showing Rand McNally & Co.'s latest general map of the United States, size 66 by 46 inches, bound with tape, sticks top and bottom ready to hang on the wall. Our special prepaid price, $1 per dozen, $10.80. Item 52026, Rand McNally & Co.'s new pictorial atlas of the world, a voluminous description of the world of today. It gives correctly the area, population, 
resources, form of government, geographical position, climate, topography, every point of information of every country on the face of the globe, the world's people, their origin, historical and ethnological development, fully illustrated, showing each state and territory in the United States, Canada, the continents and their subdivisions, prepared with the utmost care and attractively presented on a large scale in fine colors. Already reference marginal index is shown upon the maps of every state, city, and county. The complete work contains 320 pages, size 12 by 14 and one half inches, and is richly and substantially bound. English cloth with marble edges. Publisher's price, $5. Our price, $2.75. Half leather, marbled edge. Publisher's price, $8. Our price, $3.60. Postage, extra 54 cents. Item 55028. Popular Atlas of the World, Rand McNally's edition, containing large-scale colored maps of each state and territory in the United States, provinces of Canada, the continents and their subdivisions. A ready reference marginal index is shown upon each map. 159 pages, size 11 and one quarter by 14 inches, cloth bound. Publisher's price, $2. Our price, $1.25. Postage, extra 34 cents. Item 52034. The Unique Album Atlas of the World. The World of Today. Astronomical, Geographical, Historical, Political, statistical, chronological, financial, commercial, educational, diagrammatical, descriptive, and illustrative, together with practical, useful, and comprehensive information respecting all the nations and races of the world containing over 700 pages, of which many are profusely illustrated. Size, 9 and one half by 12 and one half inches. Durably bound in heavy cloth binding, embossed in gold. Publisher's price, $6. Our price, $2.35. Postage, 55 cents extra. Item 52030. $19.95 buys a set of the Encyclopedia Britannica. We have about 100 sets left out of a lot of 500 complete sets, which we purchased some time ago at a closeout price. We have been selling them at $29.50, but to close out what we have on hand, we have decided to make a price of $19.95. When these are gone, there will be no more. Those who order early will get the benefit of this closeout sale. Those ordering later may be disappointed. The above illustration will give you some idea of the appearance of this set. It is a complete library in itself. The reprint edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica has sold it from $75 to $100. The original as high as $250. This is the original Encyclopedia Britannica, reprinted by special arrangements with the publishers and to which has been added an up-to-date American supplement of five volumes. 
This edition contains exactly the same matter as is found in the higher priced ones, which retail at from $85 to $250. Not a syllable or word is missing. Every map, illustration, text, shoulder note, and marginal reference being, in fact, page for page, word for word, map for map, plate for plate, and volume for volume of the original Edinburgh edition, 30 large quarto volumes, 26,200 pages, 450 full-page engraved plates, 750 full-page maps, 14,000 illustrations, each volume 11 inches long, 9 inches wide, and nearly 2 and 1 half inches thick, and weighs over 5 and 1 half pounds. The volumes are very handsomely and substantially bound in heavy cloth, leather trimmed, and much more strongly than the Edinburgh edition. The paper is perfect, of excellent quality. The type is large and clear, while the binding and general appearance of each volume could not be more desirable. Our special terms offer On receipt of $5 as a guarantee of good faith, we will send a set of the Encyclopedia Britannica to any address anywhere in the United States by freight COD subject to examination. You can examine it at the freight depot, and if found perfectly satisfactory and exactly as represented, pay the freight agent the balance, $14.95, and freight charges. Item 52040 Webster's Unabridged Dictionary Original edition, revised and enlarged by Chauncey A. Goodrich, professor in Yale College. This dictionary contains every word that Noah Webster ever defined, and 10,000 additional words. 1,708 pages, 1,500 illustrations, an appendix of 10,000 words. It also contains nine special dictionaries, protected by copyright and not found in any other dictionary. Substantially bound in sheep, with embossed sides, marble edges. Publisher's price, $5. Our price, $1.68. Item 52042. Same with Patent Index. Publisher's price, $8. Our price, $3.25. Postage Extra, $0.68. Cents. Item 52060. Payne's Business Encyclopedia and Practical Educator. A complete compendium of the knowledge necessary to business success. This great work is conceded to be the most comprehensive, thorough, and exhaustive work of this kind ever published. It contains all the essentials of information that may be found in higher-priced works, and much that cannot be found elsewhere. Also, a complete dictionary of mercantile terms, lessons in penmanship, illustrated specimens of pen lettering and brush marking, rules for punctuation marks, and dictionary of synonyms, a full working library in one volume, nothing lacking to its completeness, extra cloth binding, 600 pages, Size 8 and 1 quarter by 6 inches. Weight 2 and 1 half pounds. Publisher's price $3. Our price $1.50. Postage 
18 cents extra. Item 52062, The Little Giant Bookkeeper, Bookkeeping at a Glance, by expert J.T. Brierley. A simple and concise method of practical bookkeeping, with instructions for the proper keeping of books of accounts and numerous explanations and forms used in a commercial business, showing an entire set of books based upon actual transactions, how to take off a trial balance sheet, and finally close and balance accounts, equation of payments, metric system of weights and measures, containing 144 pages, size 5 by 2 and 3 quarter inches, bound in flexible Russia leather, indexed. Publisher's price, 70 cents. Our price, 40 cents. Postage, 4 cents extra. Item 52064, Brown's Business Correspondence and Manual of Dictation. A new and desirable work of dictation for teachers and students of shorthand and typewriting, containing a collection of selected letters representing actual correspondence in banking, insurance, railroad, and mercantile business, a chapter on punctuation, spelling, and use of capital letters, also special exercises for dictation carefully graded comprising selections from choice literature, addresses to jury, judges charge and sentence, architect specifications, etc. An important feature of this book, and one that will be appreciated, is the spelling list of over 25,000 words at the end of the book. In no other work excepting a dictionary can such a full and complete list be found. And to those who are occasionally uncertain whether I comes before E, or vice versa, or whether there are two L's or only one in a word, this list will prove invaluable. Containing over 368 pages, durably bound in cloth, Publisher's price $1.50. Our price $0.75. Cents. Postage extra $0.12. Cents. Item 52066. Hill's Manual of Social and Business Forms. This wonderful work has for the last 20 years outclassed its imitators and proven its superior excellence, and it now stands acknowledged as the best manual of social and business forms before the public. Not only is it the best comprehensive general educator ever published, but it is the most complete work of reference that has yet been compiled. It will give the young men a better education than the most expensive set of encyclopedias. It is a complete and exhaustive manual of self-education in penmanship, elocution, commercial law, parliamentary law, incorporation law, bookkeeping, engraving, courtship and marriage, commercial forms, sports and games, weights and measures, dress, shorthand, oratory, ranking, etiquette, legal forms, printing, sign writing, how to write poetry, ready-made speeches, proofreading, rhetoric and composition, grammar, common law, financial law, balls and dances, mortgages, notes and leases, debating, architecture, 200 poetic masterpieces, historical outlines, reference tables, health, etc., size 7 and 1 half by 9 inches, 
weight five and one half pounds, sides and back stamped in black and aluminum, red edges, extra quality paper, publisher's price three dollars, our price one dollar seventy five cents, postage extra forty five cents. Item 52068, Law at a Glance, or Every Man His Own Counselor, is a new epitome of the laws of the different states of our Union and those of the General Government of the United States, and will be found invaluable to those who are forced to appeal to the laws, as well as to that class who wish to avoid it. The whole is alphabetically arranged so as to make reference to it easy. This is the most complete work of its kind ever published, containing 317 pages, bound in extra cloth. Publisher's price, $1.50. Our price, 75 cents. Postage extra, 12 cents. Item 52072, Lee's Priceless Recipes, containing 368 pages, up to date in every particular, seven leading departments, each thoroughly indexed, recipes for the druggist, the chemist, toilet articles, the household, the farm and the dairy, all trades and professions, etc. Strongly bound in extra silk cloth, printed on fine paper, marbled edges. Price 60 cents. Postage 8 cents extra. Item 52074. Edison's Encyclopedia of General Information containing 200 subjects of highest value to all, carefully classified, every country in the world fully described, contains over 520 pages, bound in limp cloth, 17 cents, stiff cloth with gold stamp, 35 cents, by mail, extra 6 cents. Item 52086, Vest Pocket Webster's Dictionary and Complete Manual of Parliamentary Practice. It contains a dictionary of over 40,000 words, as well as a vocabulary of Latin, French, Italian and Spanish words and phrases met with in English literature. It contains full and concise rules for spelling, punctuating, and the use of capital letters. It contains a complete manual of parliamentary practice, not only giving the rules which govern the conduct of legislative bodies, conventions, societies, etc. in full, but also the celebrated Ford's Index, by means of which the proper rules in any instance may be ascertained at a glance thus making it possible for anyone to preside without the embarrassment of making a misruling. It is the most valuable book ever published. Full Russia Leather, Gilt Edges, Publisher's Price 50 Cents, Our Price 30 Cents, Cloth with Red Edges 18 Cents, Postage Three cents. Item 52090. The Great Practical Work. Lawler's Hot Water Heating, Steam, and Gas Fitting. For plumbers, steam fitters, architects, builders, apprentices, and householders containing practical information of all the principles involved in the construction of steam or hot water plants, and how to properly do gas fitting. 
The illustrations show the latest and best appliances used for all systems. Complete plans for different kinds of buildings with regular working drawings. The principle of circulation of hot water in a heating system illustrated and explained in the most comprehensive way. How to properly estimate on steam and hot water work. How to set up a steam and hot water plant from the foundation of the boiler to the bronzing of the radiators and the starting of the fire. Noises in water and steam pipes explained and how to find and remedy them. The one and the two pipe system of steam heating illustrated. Gas fitting explained in all its branches from the tapping of the main pipe in the street to the burners in the house. Everything explained in the most simple language so that it will be impossible to misunderstand anything. The best illustrated work of the kind ever published, showing many new appliances and devices not illustrated in any other work. Containing 320 pages. Elegantly illustrated. Publisher's price $3. Our price $1.50. Postage 12 cents extra. Item 52094 How to Become a Successful Electrician. It is the ambition of thousands of young and old to become electrical engineers. Not everyone is prepared to spend several thousand dollars upon a college course, even if the three or four years requisite are at their disposal. It is possible to become an electrical engineer without this sacrifice. And this work is designed to tell how to become a successful electrician without the outlay usually spent in acquiring the profession. Quote, Every young man who wishes to become a successful electrician should read this book. He will not be an electrician when he has mastered the book, but if he follows the advice there given, he will become an electrician at some future time if he is capable of becoming anything. It may be called a minimum book, for it tells the least that will be necessary, but it tells it in such a way that no worthy young man will be satisfied with the minimum, but will strive for that greater knowledge that will compel true and continually growing success. It is filled with good common sense, and is the clearest and most practical book on the subject we have ever seen." End quote. Public Opinion Illustrated, 70 cents. Postage, 8 cents. Item 52098 Fleischmann's Art of Blending and Compounding Liquors and Wines showing how all the leading and favorite brands of whiskies, brandies, and other liquors and wines are prepared for the trade by rectifiers, etc. at the present time. With complete and correct recipes for making all the ingredients, flavorings, etc. employed in their manufacture, and the actual cost of each product as offered for sale by Joseph Fleischmann. Publisher's price, $2.50. Our price, $1.50. By mail, 12 cents extra. Item 52100, The Bordeaux Wine and Liquor Dealer's Guide. A treatise on the manufacture, rectifying, and reduction of liquors without the use of poisonous or deleterious ingredients, and on the preparation of wines, cordials, etc. for dealer's instruction. It includes also directions for brewing ales, porter, etc., and for compounding wines, bitters and punches, and colorings and beading for liquors. Cloth, publisher's price, $5. 
Our price, $2. By mail, 12 cents extra. Item 52108, Isaac Pittman's System of Phonography. By special and exclusive arrangement with Isaac Pittman and Sons, we are enabled to supply the very latest editions of the following handbooks of phonography, printed by themselves at Bath, England. This system has been adopted as textbooks by the New York Board of Education and other educational institutions, and is rapidly superseding other methods of shorthand writing. It is beyond comparison the most practical, easy of acquirement, and obviates all needs of personal instruction. Price, 20 cents. Postage, 3 cents. Item 52110, Donovan's Science of Boxing, with articles on training, generalship in the ring, and kindred subjects, by Professor Mike Donovan, ex-middleweight champion of America and instructor in boxing, New York Athletic Club. It contains 58 beautifully executed halftone illustrations of the professor and a skilled antagonist, photographed from life, showing exactly every movement described in the text, furnishing a series of object lessons which completely replace personal instruction. Cloth Binding, Publisher's Price, $1. Our Price, 75 cents. Paper Covers, 40 cents. By mail, six cents extra. Item 52116, Robert's Rules of Order. For deliberative assemblies based on the rules and practice of Congress, considered the standard with all literary and other societies connected with universities, colleges, academies, and high schools. It contains a table which will aid a chairman to decide 200 questions of importance without turning a leaf. Publisher's price, 75 cents. Our price, 52 cents. Postage, 6 cents extra. Item 52126. How to learn the sense of 3,000 French words in one hour. This ingenious little book actually accomplishes all that its title claims. It is a fact that there are at least 3,000 words in the French language, forming a large proportion of those used in ordinary conversation, which are spelled exactly the same as in English or become the same by very slight and easily understood changes in their termination. Illuminated paper covers, 20 cents. Postage, 3 cents. Item 52128, Pictorial History of the United States. This work has taken rank as the standard history of the United States. Contains a clear, vivid, and brilliant narrative of the events of our history, from the discovery of the American continent down to the present time. It gives a most interesting account of the Indians of North America. Every step of our colonial history is traced with patient fidelity, and the sources of those noble, and, we trust, enduring institutions which have made our country free and great are shown with remarkable clearness. Then follows a clear and succinct account of our great struggle for independence and the establishment of the Federal Union. The events of our career from the close of the Revolution to the administration of Harrison. 960 pages, 500 fine engravings, 
bound in silk cloth with marbled edges. Publisher's price, $3.50. Our price, $1.50. By mail, 28 cents extra. Item 52130. Pictorial History of the Great Civil War. Its causes, origin, conduct, and results. Containing graphic descriptions of the heroic deeds achieved by armies and individuals. Narratives of personal adventure. Thrilling incidents. Daring exploits. Wonderful escapes. Life in camp, field, and hospital, adventures at sea, blockade life, etc. by John Laird Wilson. It is printed from new clear type on fine calendared paper, made expressly for the work, and comprised in one royal octavo volume of 976 large double column pages. It is superbly embellished with numerous fine steel plate engravings and with maps illustrative of the events recorded in the narrative, embracing battles and other historical scenes, portraits of the leading generals both north and south, maps and diagrams of battlefields, etc. The work is bound in the most handsome and substantial manner. Publisher's price, $4. Our price, $1.50. By mail, 28 cents extra. Item 52132. Macaulay's History of England. Printed on good paper from large clear type. Bound in heavy cloth complete in five volumes. The period covered by each volume is as follows. Volume 1. British under the Romans to the persecution of the Protestant dissenters, 1685. Volume 2. The power of James at its height to William and Mary proclaimed. Volume 3. William and Mary proclaimed the Battle of Fleurus. Volume 4. William in Belfast to the Funeral of Mary. Volume 5. Effect of Mary's death on the continent to the death of William. Publisher's price, $3.75. Our price, $1.00. Postage extra 45 cents. Item 52152. History of our own time. From the accession of Queen Victoria to the general election of 1880. By John McCarthy. Library edition in two volumes. Price $1.15. By mail, 25 cents extra. Item 52158. History of Rome by Edward Gibbon, with notes by Dean Millman, M. Guizot, and William Smith. Illustrated with frontispiece, title on leather label, gilt top, five volumes. Price $2.10. By mail, $0.45 cents extra. Item 52166. Advance Series. The Most Wonderful Bargains in Fine Bound Books. Read the list of titles as given below, and you will find the best known and most widely read works of popular authors. These books are bound in handsome and durable silk finish cloth, stamped with attractive designs in genuine gold. The paper used is of surprisingly good quality. While the print is large and clear, 
a feature that commends itself especially to those whose eyes will not stand reading the small type usually found in the very cheap books with which the market is flooded. This entertaining series includes the best fiction, essays, poetry, history, and travels. Only such books as you will find in the best home and school libraries. We have made the price exceedingly low, and at 22 cents are selling such quality of the bookbinder's art as you will seldom if ever see sold at less than 50 cents. It will pay you to get up a club among your neighbors and order 22 or 30 of these books sent all together by freight. The freight will be little or nothing compared with what we save you in price. Remember, a 3% discount when cash in full accompanies your order. Publisher's price each 50 cents. Our price each 22 cents. Five books for one dollar. Postage, ten cents extra per volume. Item 52180. Young American Series. High class reading for young people. Four amusing, wholesome, and instructive volumes. Beautifully illustrated and superbly bound in silk cloth, gilt top with stamp in gold and colors on front, side, and back. Per set, $3. Postage extra, 40 cents. Separately per volume as follows. Air Castle Dawn, or From Greenland to Hard Pan, by Freeman Ashley. The adventures of a manly little fellow left to fight his way up in one of the largest American cities. 80 cents. Dick and Jack's Adventure on Sable Island by Freeman Ashley. 80 cents. Ten Pile Jim by Freeman Ashley. 80 cents. The Heart of a Boy by Edmund de Amis. 80 cents. Postage extra each 11 cents. Item 52220. The Handy Volume Edition. 18 cents per volume is the price of the series of books listed below. It is simply impossible for a publisher to make these books at a profit and sell them at such a price. We were fortunate to secure at a closeout sale about 8,000 volumes at less than the actual cost to make. And in offering them at 18 cents each, we believe we are giving the best book bargain ever heard of. Think of it, there are just 68 different volumes in this series, and the total cost at our bargain price would only be $12.24, or less money than agents or dealers will often ask for a single expensive book. 68 books at the price of one. You can fill your library with the choicest works of the best authors, and the cost will be small. These books are bound in excellent quality of cloth, with neat silver stamping. The paper is uniformly good, while the print is large, clear, and easily read. Remember, we allow 3% for cash in full, with order. Publisher's price, 40 cents. Our price, 18 cents. Postage each, extra 10 cents. Dialogues and Recitations We give you your choice of the best selections of recitations, dialogues, humor, minstrel jokes, etc. These books must not be confused with the cheap, trashy literature advertised by other houses. We have exercised the utmost care 
that only such as will meet the approval of the best taste should be listed, and you may be assured that you will be pleased. Always send necessary postage with book orders to be sent by mail. Remember, 3% discount for cash. Item 52242 The Tuxedo Reciter This new book contains only such original and selected recitations as have been approved and in many cases tested and received the sanction of the most prominent elocutionists in the country. Apart from the original pieces in the work, there are many rare and curious selections which cannot be found in any other publication. The popular recitation, Laska, The Chariot Race from Ben-Hur, A Tuxedo Romance, The Face Upon the Floor, Kissing Cups Race, and many other new and famous pieces are incorporated in this elegant work. The Tuxedo is the most complete and attractive book ever published. 317 pages, extra cloth, top gilt, price 60 cents, postage 12 cents. Item 52260, North's Book of Love Letters, with directions how to write and when to use them, by Inglesby North. This is a branch of correspondence for the various phases incident to love, courtship, and marriage. Few persons are able to express in words the promptings of the first dawn of love, and how to follow up a correspondence with the dearest one in the world, and how to smooth the way with those who need to be consulted in the matter. 140 letters and answers in this book, aided in many instances by the author's sensible comments on the specimen letters, and his valuable hints under adverse contingencies. Cloth, price 60 cents. Bound in boards, price 40 cents. By mail, 8 cents extra. And with that, I think we'll end this evening's reading from the Books and Stationery Department of the Sears, Roebuck & Co. Incorporated Consumer's Guide of 1897. I confess, I love reading this book and seeing how people lived in the late 19th century. Truly, Sears was the Amazon of its time. If you'd like to connect or suggest a boring book you'd like to hear read, the best place to catch me is on Twitter at Boring Books Pod. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. Until our next boring book, good night.